Hello everyone, this is Sanjay Prashar. Welcome back to the channel. And today we will be talking about a polling strategy of database adapter. And we will be using multiple adapters in one SOA composite. And the polling strategy that we will be using in database adapter is called logical delete. So there are multiple polling strategies that we can use in order to poll the data based on a certain event or based on a certain occurrence of the data inside a database table. So the most popular polling strategy that I know of is a logical delete where we poll data based on a certain column of a particular table. So we will be using that to poll data from the table and then we will try to write an XML file uh, based on the data that we will receive from the table using the file adapter. So these are the details for DB polling. We have the outbound connection pool, the data source, everything is already created. We have already created some videos on database adapter and how to configure database adapter in WebLogic. I will mention its link into the description box. Also, you can check on the top of this video right now so that you can learn how to do the web logic configurations so first we will pull the data then we will write an xml file using the file adapter so writing file we have also covered in previous tutorials i will mention its link in the description and also that video also you can see on the top of this current video so now let's start the development part so let's first create a soa project So we have created this uh, blank and empty composite db polling file write demo. So in the expose service side we will use the database adapter to poll the records from a table. And the outbound connection pool gndi. This is the one. Now this is the option poll for new or change records in a table. This is also known as polling strategies of database adapter. Here we will import a table. So the table that I want to import is this employee details. So under this employee details table as at the moment we have two employees and we want to poll the data based on this employee status column which is at the moment is processed. So we will poll based on this column. So you will see what I'm talking about. So here we will be using this table only employee details. So let's import that table. We want all the columns, so every column is checked. Next. Now these are the different polling strategies here. And this is the logical delete that I was talking about. All others are also very important, but the most commonly used one is this uh, logical delete only. So we will be using that. So this works on a field or a column. So we want to use employee status as a column here. And in unread value is the one which our polling will be listening to. So whatever I put here under this unread value, our polling 
service will be listening to that particular message for example I type it new hire if the employee status is new hire then pull that record and change it to employed so we'll click on next and here you can see your polling SQL and what will happen after the SQL so in this polling options here you can manipulate that how many rows you want to uh, poll in one XML document how many rows you want to poll under one transaction so at the moment as you can see we have two rows only so if I keep database rows per transaction as two and database rows per XML as two that means in one instance only if I make, make both the records in my table as new in one transaction in one flow ID only in one XML document I'll get, get both the records if I make it as one then the transaction will be one but my people will be called twice because a separate XML will be handling my separate record so for now let's keep it as two two only because we want everything be everything to be processed under one transaction so click on next and finish so our export service which is our database is ready and now let's create our target service also as I said we will be using a file adapter to write an XML file so whatever the data that we will be getting from the database we want to write that to a particular directory We can use by default the JNDI that comes along because we are using a file adapter. If that would be a FTP adapter, then we will have to create an outbound connection pool based on the host name port and username and password. So we'll use this write file ad operation. I have a directory. This is the directory that I want to use. and I'm giving a name here test file a sequence dot XML because I want that to be created as XML and I do not want any filter on the messages of that particular file that I will be getting so I'll click on next here I can give a schema I can use the same schema which was generated as part of the database adapter I can use the same one so that mismatch does not happen we are using single schema in both the adapters now I can create a people process and do the mapping it should be a synchronous process because it's a one-way process here we are not getting anything in return so let's keep it as asynchronous we will receive table data in the receive activity here keep this create instances checked as it is the first activity of the entire process click on ok and let's invoke the file adapter here and now let's assign whatever we are receiving to the right file data we can assign entire payload to payload and I think it should work so our development is complete if I give you a brief we will read the data from this table based on the employee status employee status we have kept as new hire so if I change the status of these to new hire it should become employed and the file should be written 
under this write directory which is blank at the moment so let's deploy our service so as we can see our service is deployed so let's check that let's log into enterprise manager so we have this service as you can see the test is graded out because we have not exposed this service for someone to test manually our service is a polling service which is listening to a certain event or occurrence of the data once that event happens this service will automatically be triggered and that event is if the employee status of any row is new hire it will trigger so let's try that and let me change it for both employee IDs. So two row has been updated. And it took fraction of seconds and as we can see the employee status has been changed to employed. That means our service worked. So it should be it should have one instance now. So we have one instance which is completed so we did receive both the records and we did write both the records and in our write directory also we can see that we have this file ready and if we format it we can see that we have two records 101 102 now if we give if we change record for only one it changed to employed and we have another file which should only have one record which is Sanjay Prasher. So that's how we use database polling. And it is very important to understand these polling strategies because that helps us to automate our services and that helps the SOA to orchestrate between different services so that no manual intervention is required and we can automatically poll the data and proceed further. So in that case that database polling, JMS, publish and consumer, event delivery network. So these sort of things really come in handy to make our service loosely coupled, make our entire application loosely coupled, which is one of the most important aspect of being a SOA developer. So this is it for today. Thank you so much for your time. You take good care of yourselves and have a nice rest of the day. Bye bye.